Uh, let's bring in uh, Eric Trump, son of Donald Trump, who wants to be the next president of the United States. Good morning to you, Eric. Hey, Eric. Thanks for joining yeah, us. Philly. Yeah, we're in Philly. You're there in New York. We're coming home soon, though. We are. So you wouldn't Philly's be welcomed okay. as much in this convention as you were in the last. <laughs> that's right. That's we will not. say that. Probably not. I'll stay out yeah, here for right. a couple days. So were your family's ears burning over the last couple of days because the Democrats have spent two days so far, today's another, tomorrow's another, yeah. in turning your father into public enemy number one? We're yeah. going to play a little soundbite montage of them taking, the, taking shots at your dad. I have a message for Donald Trump. We are not going back to the dark days when women died in back alleys. Donald Trump can only see an angry America. Donald Trump and his party think I should be punished for exercising my constitutional rights. Send Donald Trump back to his bankrupt casinos where he belongs. Trump's entire campaign it's just one more late night Trump infomercial. Donald Trump hasn't made anything in his life except a buck on the backs of working people. I love the fact that they've got uh, Terry McAuliffe, the governor of Virginia, in there, uh, even though he's under FBI investigation yes. for uh, campaign contributions. So, Eric, your assessment of the Democrats taking shots at your dad? Listen, I think I saw one person in there that wasn't a career politician, so I should start off with that. But... You know what I found sickening, you know, and I watched it all day yesterday and the day before. Of all the speakers, of the 61 speakers, there wasn't a single mention of ISIS. Yesterday, there was a priest in France in a church, and radical Islamic terrorists went in there and they cut off his head. They beheaded a priest in his own church in France, right? Last week, we had Nice. We had the LGBT community get shot up in Orlando. We've had San Bernardino. We've had all these massive terrorist attacks all over the country. And not once, and not once during the convention, did they, they even mention the enemy. I mean, it is, it is so distraught. It is, it is such a shame. I mean, how are we going to defeat somebody that we can't mention? Not once did they mention the fact that we have $19 trillion worth of debt. Not once did they mention the fact that we have an education system that's ranked 30th in the world. I mean, how little time did they spend on, on our vets? I mean, the, the Hillary did a little thing on our vets yesterday. It totally came off as insincere. Right. I mean, not once did they mention the four hundred billion dollar trade and balance with China, the 60 billion dollar trade and balance with Mexico. Right. A national deficit that increases by thirty two thousand dollars a second, two billion dollars a day. I mean, not well, they once did they mention because they were problems. taking shots at your dad. Yeah. yeah and, and, There's I mean, also something that, you know, we we went into this week, Eric, we were. We all found out that the DNC was rigging the system, trying to get Hillary in office and, and Bernie Sanders yeah. out. Debbie Wasserman Schultz had to quit the job the day before her convention. So many people are talking about that here at the DNC. And we found Wikileaks. out yesterday, that's right, that the FBI is now saying they have high confidence that Russia was behind the yeah. DNC hacked emails. What do you make of that? Listen, I deal with cybersecurity every day in our in our company, right? It's it's something that affects every corporation, every business, really, you know, around the world these days. And I found it interesting that the first time that President Obama comes out and actually talks about cybersecurity, it's when the DNC, you know, gets hacked. I mean, I, I found that really ironic. But when you look at some of those WikiLeaks emails, and I read many of them, I, I found it so perplexing of, of really how disgusting the tactics were behind the scenes. You know, let's create fake job posts for the Trump Organization on Craigslist, only recruiting good-looking women in this. I mean, it takes right. a seriously Sexist. sick individual to come up with some of this stuff. And, I mean, if our forefathers saw the antics behind the scenes of this party, I, I mean, obviously what all of America saw right. when they saw some of these emails, they would be rolling in their graves. It is, oh, yeah, it, it is the worst they part racist, of politics, they were and it's disgusting. Absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah. and so many other it. things. Sorry, Brian. Yeah, I want you to hear the president, uh, what he said about cybersecurity and you guys and the DNC. What the motives were in terms of the leaks, all that, uh, I can't say directly. Uh, what I do know is that um, Donald Trump has repeatedly expressed admiration for uh, Vladimir Putin. It sounds like you're suggesting that Putin might be motivated to prefer Trump in the White House. Well, uh, I am basing this on what Mr. Trump himself has said, uh, and I think that uh, Trump's gotten pretty favorable coverage uh, back in Russia. Really, uh, fantastic. So what are your links to Russia, business-wise, personal, as a Trump organization, and your dad, as you know it, with 
uh, with their leadership? Yeah, very few. Very few. We don't have any properties in Russia or anything else. You know, but I find it interesting. You know, Russia has so little respect for our country. That wasn't the case under Reagan. That wasn't the case, you know, after the, the Cold War where they had tremendous respect. You know, they view, in, you know, Obama and they view Hillary as totally weak and effective leaders. And, and you're seeing that. I mean, their willingness to go in, if it was in fact Russia, their willingness to go in and hack, you know, a major political party, in fact, the political party of yeah. the president of the United States, I think shows, you know, the level of disrespect that they have for America. And, I, and the one thing I can tell you is my father will change that. And my father will change that very, very, very quickly. Okay. Well, Julian Assange also said there are lots more email to go. Will they have any on Trump? Stay tuned. Eric Trump, thank you very much. Eric, for thank you so, much. Guys so much. Have Good fun. To see you Get this back morning. safely. All right. Thank you. Right. Thank you very much. Did a great job. You got a hold of him yesterday. He yeah, it was so on. nice that he accepted our invitation to come on. Very nice. Always a pleasure.